Check this out. This is a brand new build. It may just be the next beach house. We can keep it cool with a, with a slushy. Ah, uh, good morning, Sharers. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome back to another um, crazy day. It's, I think, 10 a.m. right now, and it is completely, like, dark out. It's very strange, but that's not gonna stop us because we are heading to the beach house today. That's right, it's not summer yet, but we're going to do something awesome down at the beach house. Also, check out what I got in the truck bed. I got a trailer hitch because that means we are picking up something, and I will explain it all as soon as we get down to the beach. So let's hop in the truck, and let's get going. We are gonna have such a fun day today. By the way, I just ran five miles. I try to do five miles every Saturday. It costs me to wake up early on Saturday, run five miles, and get the day started so I am ready to go Woo, I got a lot of energy today we gotta buckle up while you subscribe hit the subscribe button right now oh if you didn't do it by the time I buckled up then you were too late sure it's gonna take me a little bit over an hour to get there but for you let's roll my newest song and you'll be there in no time Lamborghini yeah they see me in my Lambo 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 Lamborghini and shares, check it out. They got a lot of stuff here. It is still winter technically. So they have hundreds of boats all up, winterized on these stands. So many boats everywhere. Jet ski docks here, everything. Oh, that boat is massive. And there's a water right there and it's pretty choppy today. So I don't think anyone's out in the water. It's also kind of still pretty cold. But what we do have here and the reason why we're here is because we have my jet skis right here. Oh yeah, check it out, shares. We got my jet skis here. We are picking them up because we're going to do something super epic with them. What it is, well, let me get them hooked up first and let me get them taken back and I'll tell you exactly what we're doing. Oh, that was easy. When I bought these things, they came with the trailer, but I've only used the trailer one time and then they've been in the water for two years, so. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna work. These straps are donezo. What I'm gonna do to these jet ski shares, well, you are about to find out. It's going to be a lot of fun, but first I need to strap these things down so I can get them home properly and they don't fall off. Okay, we only gotta make it a couple miles for the first stop and then we gotta make it like 100 miles after that, so. I'll go stop at the hardware store, hopefully it's open and I'll get another strap. Oh, and just like that, within two seconds we are over top of the water. Look at that beautiful ocean water. Oh, it looks so good. And in literally in a month from now, I feel like I will literally be out on this water, ripping it up with these jet skis. <laughs> That's right, I'm on my way to the Avalon Beach House right now, Shares. let's go. Oh, hold up, we got an issue here. What is going on? Oh, they're doing work on this bridge, so it's gonna be one lane. Oh, we got this. Whoa, look at that piece of equipment right there. It's like the same excavator that's in the pond right now. Yeah. Oh my. Which, speaking of that, Shares, the pond is still completely drained, and those animal control people could come back at any time, which is another reason we gotta get these jet skis and get them home. Oh yeah, home sweet home. Check it out, we are back at the Avalon house. I actually realized I have to get a haircut, so I had to leave the jet skis here, hop back in the car, go get a haircut. Then we had to go explore the house, make sure it's all good. I gotta show you some cool new things in the house. So we have a lot to do, but first things first, I gotta get trailer off, but I need chocks to put behind the wheel so it doesn't go rolling down the driveway. There we go. One there, perfect. Okay, voila. Now it is haircut time, but uh, I'm gonna run inside real quick. Put this food in the fridge so I can eat it after. Hello? Hello? What is this? Oh my goodness, no way. I got fan mail. This is from Antonio to Steven. Oh my goodness, no way. Awesome monster truck. This is so cool. <gasps> no way, a lime green car, just like the Sharagini. This is so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Whoa, and there's a note. Let's see what the note says. You are a great YouTuber. Thank you. Oh, hey. Share the love everywhere. Best YouTuber ever, I love you. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Well, thank you so much, Antonio. I gotta hang this up on the wall. As you know, I'm trying to get more art pieces on the wall. I got some of my records up here. I got the Share the Love record here. So if you haven't sent me fan mail, you gotta make sure to send me fan mail. I need fan mail for both houses now. Both my Philadelphia house and this Avalon Beach house. Okay, haircut time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get ready, shares, because it's about to be different. Boom, and just like that, I got my haircut. Comment down below if you like it, yes or no. And also, it is a beautiful sunny day now. And we have so so much to do, Shares. There is something that I gotta show you. Let's get there and let me show you. And just like that, we are here, Shares. Check this out. This is a brand new build here in Avalon. It's close to my beach house. It's just a few houses away, but it may just be the next beach house. And that's where you all come in, Shares. I'm gonna need you all to comment down below if I should keep my beach house or buy this new one. That is the question. Obviously, it's still being built and there's a lot that still has to be done, but the renders of this place look absolutely insane. And I wanna walk through it with the realtor today. And I want you all to give me your honest opinion whether you think I should buy this house house or not. When it's done, it's gonna be absolutely modern and it's gonna look so good, but we gotta see if it compares to my house at all. There's a couple differences. I know my house has a backyard beach. This one doesn't necessarily, but let's go check this place out. So this is like garage, obviously. Two car garage. Two bedrooms here, washing and dryer here. Correct. Is that what those big things yeah. are? And then this is a door. Or what is this? Oh, the elevator. The elevator shaft. So that's elevator. Oh, this is a real way to walk in. So this is the downstairs like sitting room. Oh, it's got a nice pool back here. That hot tub's as big as my pool. <laughs> sure, this is the main entrance here. Garage would be here 
now we're gonna go up the stairs here. You can see the other side of the bay right there. So this would be like the sunset deck. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, that's really nice. Like that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, then the view from here is awesome. Wow, you can see everything. All the way down and out, all the way down there. My house right there. So this new house would be right here. And you got way bigger pool. This is cool, it's like your own little private section. Oh, these are big ceilings. Wow. Yeah, that's a great view. So each room has its own bathroom. This is just gonna be all open still, it's not actually a room. Oh wow, that's how you're gonna go? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you wanna hold that. I guess you fall into your death. <laughs> Get this guy outside too, <laughs> right behind you. Oh wow. All right, we are on our way to the master bedroom. There's no stairs that go up to it right now, so I have to climb across that, but. Okay, and then this would be like the office. Or no, I believe this just open. open. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is probably like an yes, open yeah, office space. Comes up to here. Okay. Closet here. Yeah. And the bathroom back here. Tub, shower, shower. toilet, uh -huh. sinks. Closet or something? Yeah, linen closet. Okay. Wow, the view from up here is crazy. I don't even want to look at the pool, but there you go. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're so high. Okay, shares, let me know your thoughts on the house we just looked at. I like it, I think it's cool. I don't know if it compares to the backyard of my house though because I have a beach and my dock is bigger, which allows me to fit my jet skis, my boat, all my fun toys. And the house is also not dynamic, so it's kind of hard to fully see, but we're on our way to house number two. This one apparently has an even bigger backyard. So remember, shares, comment down below your thoughts because I really want to know what you think. Should I keep my house or should I buy one of these new houses? Shares, here's the next house we're gonna look at. This one's way wider horizontally. Let's go inside and let's take a look at this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Bunk bedroom. Love those bunk bedrooms. Sitting room or another, another bedroom? This is the main dining room table over here. Yeah, that's just sitting there. Oh, family room. Table right here. Dining room. Kitchen. And then another dining table. Oh, wow. That pool's huge. It goes all the way over there. Oh, wow. That shower is huge. What? I've never seen a shower like this. And this is, oh, yeah, this is nice. So here's a better look in the backyard. Wow. So that's like a full kitchen. Wow. Shares, look how big this pool is. This backyard is massive. I thought the last backyard was massive. This thing is even bigger. This is crazy. Look at the way this house looks back here. Okay, house number two was nice. I definitely like that style. Again, it's a little hard to see everything because it's not fully built. That backyard was absolutely amazing though, even better than house number one. But house number two was not waterfront, so I think we gotta scratch that one completely because I gotta be on the water. Otherwise, where am I gonna put the jet skis? But we do have one more house. Let's check out house number three. And oh my goodness, here we are. This thing's even bigger. Oh, wow. So this one is way bigger. It's got this guest house section on the end here. And look, it's right by the bay right here. And you can see the ocean right there. Let's go check it out. <laughs> oh yeah. You can really see the bay from here. That's better. Oh, what? That's huge. So that's not even a garage. It's just the cabana. Yeah. Bedroom, bedroom. This is the living area. Bedroom four, bedroom five. Okay. This is massive. Wow. And then you get the insane bay view right there. You can hear the ocean. You can almost see it. Wow. That's crazy. So, Sharers, that was the house. And then this is the garage. Well, this garage is huge. Look how tall the ceilings are in this garage. I think it's technically a one car garage, but you could fit two cars in there. You could even put like RV in there. It's so tall. And this is nice. It's got a whole section where you can walk in between the garage and the house all the way back to the cabana and the pool would be back there. Well, yeah, that garage is massive. Oh my goodness. Those houses were cool shares, but I don't know if anything compares to my share the love beach house. I rely on your comments so much. So shares, you gotta let me know what you think about those three houses. House number one, house number two, house number three, or just keep this house. I do love this house so much shares. I absolutely do. I mean, yeah, the pool is not as big as the houses that we saw, but look, we get a sandy beach here. We even have enough room for a trampoline. And then look at the dock out there. We got so much room for toys out there and everything. And I love the color of my house. I love the white. I think it's so much fun. I do have three decks. I get a great view. So I don't know. It's just so hard, shares. I do like different styles of houses and everything, but I'm always up for a new house to create even more content at. So you gotta let me know. And not only that, but I love the inside of my house. I mean, we got my gaming room here. And we got awesome artwork in these rooms too. Like, come on, you can't beat this stuff. But anyway, shares, let me know how you like those houses. Now let me tell you what I'm about to do with the jet skis. I'm picking up the jet skis because I'm gonna take them to an off-island sea do dealer because I'm going to get a tune installed on the jet skis to make them go even faster. <laughs> I'm gonna take them to get tuned, but in order to do that, I have to drive them back to the Philadelphia area because there's a special place that does it. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now to follow along on my journey to get these jet skis tuned. But of course, I know that it's gonna get done if I don't get the jet skis on the trailer and going. Now I need an extension cord because we gotta get to work on the trailer and make this thing safe to bring home. All right, we are pumping up the tires now. We gotta make this thing safe for the trip home. 
Okay, I think we are locked. We are loaded. We are ready to go, shares. Before we fully go, check it out. I brought out the Shed Love golf cart. Forgot how cool this thing looks with all the underglow and all that good stuff. Oh my goodness, I am so ready for summer. Today's fan mail shout out obviously goes to Antonio. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Send me fan mail. I'll see you next vlog. And until then, you know what to do. Stay awesome and share the love. Peace. Woo. Yeah.